Welcome to the 68th season of the Peninsula Symphony. Our concert's opening on November 4th in San Mateo and November 5th at the Flynn Center in Cupertino. And for an orchestra that's been around for such a long time, we're very invigorated and excited about the freshness, the innovation of the concerts that we're going to be offering this year. I'm going to tell you about our November concert in detail in several segments uh, today, but um, let me outline the rest of the season as well. In January, we have the fabulous St. Michael Trio playing music that's primarily blues and jazz in wonderful personal arrangements. These are local musicians who are local favorites and, and just spectacularly engaging and fun. In March, we have a concert that, ha that features the great work Scheherazade of Rimsky-Korsakov and trumpet concertos performed by an amazing, virtuoso, young female trumpet player uh, named Mary Elizabeth Bowden from Florida, and she's become a major international celebrity. In May, um, our, one of our youngest, I guess our youngest uh, soloist of the year, William Langley Militich, is a bass player. The Irving Klein Competition in San Francisco, which I've been doing for many years now, has um, violinists, violists, and cellists, and an occasional bass player. And this year, for the very first time, a bass player won the Klein competition. He's amazing. It's just an extraordinary feat of ledger domain to see. Uh, and, and of course, he's a spectacular musician on top of that. So he'll be playing uh, the Botticini Second uh, Bass Concerto, and that program will focus on Holst's all-time favorite piece, The Planets. And we'll have some photography, some NASA photography of the planets to complement the whole experience of the music of, of the planets. But let's start off with our first concert, the November concert. The soloist for this concert is a young man I first in encountered in San Francisco a little over a year ago. He was performing the Rachmaninoff Paganini variations with the San Francisco Symphony. And it was such a refreshing, interesting, different kind of presentation by a soloist. He's very informal. He walks out, in a, takes a bow uh, in, a, in a very almost brusque way, really wants to get down to business, um, but his face his body expresses the music in, in an, a just fantastic way. Conrad Tao um, was, for eight consecutive years, the ASCAP Composer of the Year. Um, so he's a composer. He was a star violinist. He's a writer. Um, and, of course, he's a pianist. He's won all kinds of prizes. He's the uh, last year's Avery Fisher Career Grant winner. This is the over-encompassing award to the most promising musician in America in a given year, and he just, just recently won that. Um, he has performed all over the world uh, as a composer. He was, for the last couple of years, the composer in residence for the esteemed Dallas Symphony, and he wrote a piece for the commemoration of the 50th anniversary of John Kennedy's assassination for the Dallas Symphony, the great event in the history of Dallas, and it was a landmark event for both the orchestra and the city. Um, this young man, after all of these accomplishments, after all the things that he's done and the stunning persona that he brings to the stage, has just turned 22 years of age. And he is going to be so much fun to work with, so engaging for our audience that I think it'll be a, a truly marvelous experience. That first concert happens on November 4th and no, November 5th, and it starts off with a piece by a female composer, and this is another aspect of this year's innovative programming by the Peninsula Symphony. Each concert this year, each of our four subscription concerts, will feature music by a living female composer a neglected and very rich treasure trove of wonderful music that needs to be performed that our audience will love to hear, will enjoy on first hearing. And this first one of those is a piece by Carolyn Bremer. We'll be performing this in the first week of November when the World Series is in full blast. And this is a piece that is all about baseball, actually. It's called Early Light. And uh, in this piece of music, we hear fragments from the national anthem. Uh, Stars and stripes are being celebrated. And then we hear, finally, near the end of the piece, the crack of the bat as the baseball game proceeds. So we open the opening concerts 
with this piece by Carolyn Bremer, the first of several um, uh, new pieces by w uh, women composers. Um, and uh, the next piece on the program will feature Conrad Tower, this extraordinary young pianist. And we'll tell you more about that in the next segment. Don't please miss the first opening concerts, the November 4th at San Mateo Performing Arts Center and November 5th at Flint Center concerts that we invite you all to see and be a part of. <laughs>